there's only five or six weeks left in the season, with new weapons, items, and quests to be unveiled. Hello and welcome to Two Nerds on a Couch. I'm Beth. And I'm Thor. The week seven hotfix of season three is here, so let's get into it. The big bush bomb is back and bigger than ever. But beware, the regular flare gun has been re-enabled so that big bush could be set ablaze. Since the summer escape has ended, the fireworks flare gun has been disabled and 99% of the ice creams have been put away. You still have a small chance of getting ice cream from Little Whip if he spawns in during a rift event or rift encounter. We really enjoyed the cosmetics from the summer event, but besides that, how did you, our community, feel about the event? Let us know in the comments. Since the big bush bomb has come back to the loot pool, a really great augment to pair with it has been enabled this week. The Shrub Mud Augment. Shrub Mud lets you become covered in mud if hiding in tall grass, leaf piles, and big bushes. Once you're covered in mud, you become temporarily undetectable from flare gun pings. There have been a few balancing changes with the slap splashes. Exotic slap splashes now drop in stacks of six instead of two. As a reminder, you can find exotic slap splashes in keylock chests, also known as hollow chests or display cases. You can find exotic slap splashes by busting open loot llamas as well. The normal rarity of slap splashes can still be found in hollow chests, but those are in stacks of three instead of two. All other stacks of the normal slap splashes will be in stacks of two. We mentioned that the summer event is over. What we didn't mention is that part of the area has been reverted back, taking away the fairy lights, party floaties, and DJ booth. The only thing left commemorating the summer escape are the paintings on the sides of the waterfall. A few weeks ago we mentioned that there was going to be a collaboration with Epic Games and the Elder Scrolls Online. Well, it has been rumored that the week of July 20th through July 27th, Elder Scrolls Online will be available for free in the Epic Games Store. This could be when we see the character making its way to the item shop, or it could come after that and be included in the purchase of ESO once the free week is over. Shout out to anyone who uses our supporter creator code, two nerds on the couch in the item shop and the Epic Game Store. It really helps out our channel and we appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Could there be a secret World of Warcraft times Fortnite collab in the works? Well, data miners have uncovered some information that points to this being a possibility. On a recent test server for World of Warcraft, there were a number of items and spells that were distinctly similar to Fortnite items. Plus, there was a character model that looked a bit like Renegade Raider. If there was a collab, what sort of characters from World of Warcraft would you want to see? Earn some free FNCS cosmetics by watching Major 3 and The Last Chance Major taking place over the next month. Legends Landing has officially been revamped with more minigames, an updated look, and a more immersive viewing experience. But that's not where we're earning the drops this time, and you won't be able to earn them on Twitch or YouTube either. This time around, you'll earn the cosmetics by watching directly on Fortnite's competitive website. Log into fn.gg slash competitive with your Epic Games account. Then watch FNCS Major 3 and Last Chance Major broadcasts for a minimum of 15 minutes each to earn the drops. We've got the dates listed here on screen for when you can earn each of the cosmetics. Raptor Rider Spray, Lush Moves Loading Screen, King Meow Emoticon, Eight Lives Down Loading Screen, and the FNCS Protector Back Bling. Please note that these Fortnite drops could take up to seven days to appear in your Fortnite locker. How do you feel about these drops? Do you prefer to watch via Twitch, YouTube, or Legends Landing instead? Let us know in the comments! In our final bit of cosmetic news, did Epic forget to give those French-inspired cosmetics out? Bastille Day was July 14th, so it would have made perfect sense to release Sir Burr, the Back Bling, and Baguette Bat, the Pickaxe, during that time. We could possibly still see these cosmetics given out for free in the next week, however. There is still plenty of XP to be had through challenges, quests, and Fortnite Creative over the second half of this season. 
The Week 7 quest released on Thursday, July 20th, and will have us trying to solve puzzles. We'll possibly make a guide on how to complete those quests. It's also very likely that we'll see the next set of snapshot quests released on Thursday as well. This time we'll be working with Triggerfish. Don't forget that there are hidden quests to find the Kinetic Ore Shards. Once you find them, take them to Trace and he'll analyze them. There are also secret audio logs from Dr. Sloan and possibly audio transmissions from Optimus Prime. If these storyline quests and audio logs don't release on the 20th, they'll for sure be part of the next downtime update. Version 25.20 has been added to the staging servers and is expected to release on July 25th. Here's a small taste of what's to come from that update. The lever pistol should be making an appearance as it was part of the season trailer. The next crew pack set will be revealed and could be related to the storyline again, but we'll have to wait for more information. Each season since Chapter 3, Season 1, we've had level up quest packs and we don't see Epic stopping that tradition anytime soon. Once that set releases, we'll have videos for each week on the level up quest. At some point during 25.20, we should start to see a few more map changes to usher in new parts of the story. Of course, there will be new cosmetics and other things to look forward to with the next downtime update. We will bring you the news and information when that happens, so be sure to subscribe to our channel for more about the world of Fortnite and beyond. Do you like lobby tracks? Do you like them enough to purchase a vinyl? Well, soon you can. Starting July 20th at 9 a.m. Pacific time, you can pre-order the official Fortnite music vinyl put together by I Am 8-Bit. The record will be a peely yellow and feature various lobby tracks from over the last six years. This vinyl will likely include a digital code to an unreleased rap. We've got a link to that store in the notes below. Fortnite streamer and content creator Squatting Dog has teased a rather interesting creative map that we hope is coming soon. The Barbenheimer gun game takes the popular meme of mashing up the Barbie movie and the Oppenheimer movie into a crazy gun game inside of UEFN. We'll have the map code in the notes below as soon as it becomes available. In random news, it seems that a company is making an Assassin's Creed version of their haptic feedback vest shirts. Could this vest possibly work with Fortnite in the future? Maybe. And in our final bit of random news, we've brought up Donald Mustard's Twitter activity in the past, but lately he hasn't tweeted or hinted at things related to Fortnite since the end of March. Maybe we'll see a ramp up of Twitter activity from the chief creative officer soon. And that's going to wrap up this week's seven hotfix video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use code two nerds on the couch in the item shop, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.